Hey guys, I just wanted to take a few minutes today to show you this pistol, a not yet forgotten weapon. This is a Smith & Wesson 3913. It's a small 9mm DASA concealable pistol. Alright, this isn't really intended to be a full review, I just want to talk about some things that I find noteworthy. So this is the 3913. Uh, this pistol was produced by Smith & Wesson from about 1989 to 2006. This particular model, the 3913 TSW, was the last of the 3913s produced and possibly the best. Um, it featured almost a hand-fitted slide and frame. This particular model has the rail, most don't. Uh, the frame is an aluminum frame. The weight of this gun, unloaded with an empty magazine, is 25.3 ounces. So, why would you want this gun? Well, it remains, even in 2022, one of the best options if you want a DASA carry pistol. And so why would you want that? Well, typically when you have a pistol like this, your first trigger pull will be double action, which means uh, you have a longer, heavier trigger pull, which gives you a measure of safety without having to use a manual safety. And then your subsequent trigger pulls will be single action, which really nothing beats a single action trigger. So let's look at the trigger pull and this gun really has an excellent trigger, guys. Uh, so let me talk for a second. What makes an excellent trigger? Well, in my opinion, for double action, what makes a great double action trigger is a smooth pull and without any stacking. And stacking is an apparent change in the trigger pull weight as you pull it rearward. Uh, so this trigger... Yes, it's very smooth all the way through, and then it just snaps. And let me show you what happens. So normally when you're firing, you know, the slide will go back, and the next pull will have the hammer cocked, and you'll be in single action. So here's the reset. It's a super short reset from before when short resets were cool, guys. And the single action trigger, very excellent. Uh, it's very crisp, and to me, that's what makes a great single action trigger. It's just a crisp trigger, good reset. Um, real quick, what does crisp mean? A crisp trigger is one where you're pulling rearward and there is no physical movement of the trigger that you can perceive until it just snaps. So let me show you again. Here's reset again. And when the trigger resets, you're right on the wall already. There's no, no take up to do. And then I'm pulling rearward now. You see there's no like bend or squeezing or sponginess, the trigger just snaps. That's what crisp is, and it feels great. I do have to leave the magazine in to, to do this because this gun has a magazine disconnect. Uh, if the magazine's not inserted, the trigger's dead. It doesn't move the hammer. By the way, magazine is an eight round magazine. What else is good to know about this pistol? Well, these pistols have some really nice machining done to them. You know, this is a metal frame, factory produced, and look at this checkering on the front strap. You won't see this on too many guns. And this isn't a super expensive gun either. Look at the magazine release. It's so nicely checkered as well. The grip's plastic. Uh, you can change this pretty easily. 
basically just remove this pin and slide it backwards. Uh, the safety or decocker lever, this, in this case it's ambidextrous, not all of them are. Uh, so just to show you how that would work, normally, you know, you'd load your pistol. And then if you want to safely lower the hammer or decock it, you would flip that down. Now the pistol's in safe. Uh, see the trigger's disabled. Uh, I would prefer to carry it off safe and just decocked. So you just push that safety forward. And by the way, these slide mounted safeties like on this gun or a Beretta 92, you should not think of it as flipping the safety up, but rather push the safety forward. That works much easier. That's how they're designed. Smith & Wesson 3913. couple of size comparisons. Here's a SIG P365. The SIG is smaller in pretty much every dimension. It's also lighter. So this this new modern class of Micro 9s kind of outclasses the 3913 in some ways. By the way, I number my magazines, guys. It just helps me keep track. If I have a problem with one, I know which one it is. Next, I think an interesting comparison is the CZ75 Compact. This is the PCR. Uh, this has the same double single action trigger and an aluminum frame. This CZ weighs one ounce more than the 3913 and you get a 15 round magazine instead of an eight. And the size is very comparable. Uh, the CZ is a touch bigger. Most notably, the CZ's wider in the grip. See that magazine's much wider. And the grip. It's wider, but it's not a super huge difference, actually. To me, the CZ feels much better in the hand. Uh, the CZ grip's just very ergonomic. All right, I think that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.